something that is, I think, uh, very helpful for presentation. It's not only the content, but equally important, and that is the voice. And we welcome today Ms. Dania Bauer, who will be presenting and uh, teaching us on how to use the voice correctly. Um, before I hand over to our Vice President of Education, Nicole White, I would like just to go to my Toastmasters business section to uh, talk about two upcoming events. Please uh, mark uh, the end of May uh, for our social event at the BIC bar. You will uh, receive some email. This will be also the induction ceremony for all the new members. And the 11th of June, the IGM, our annual general meeting with members and the elections of the new executive committee. But this you will receive via email. And um, as last information, I would like uh, to inform all our guests today. Welcome to Women in Nuclear, IAEA and the Young Generation. Um, if you are interested in joining the VIC Toastmasters Club, please send an email to the same email you have responded to uh, for this event. With having that said, I would like to hand over the control of the meeting to Nikki. Nikki, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Madam President, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests, thank you so much for joining us in this special session today. As the Toastmaster of the day, it is my responsibility to introduce our guest speaker and to also set kind of the, the ground rules for today. <coughs> Generally, in our Toastmaster Club, we participate in table topics, we have evaluation, we will forego those today and simply give our undivided attention to our guest speaker. Please take note of any questions that you may have during her presentation. At the end, I will be facilitating a question and answer session and I will welcome your questions. And with that, I would like to introduce, introduce Ms. Danya Bauer. She is a professional speaker, or professional singer, uh, speaker, moderator, and she works in uh, a variety of, of different areas. Um, one thing I noted was that when conducting public speaking sessions, she encourages her clients to move away from boring speeches and presentations and instead try to encourage engagement like a song. And I have a note here that the title of your speech is also your personal mission, Speaks Like Music. Please help me in welcoming Ms. Dania Bauer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nikki, for this wonderful introduction. Thank you also, Nina, for inviting me. And for our area director, Petra, that you recommended me. I think you made a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually at this Vienna International Center when I was at this height. <laughs> because I am a Viennese girl, and um, during the summertime, you can visit precious places like this one. And I might not be as young anymore, but still young at heart. And what keeps me young is music. I hope this works in my mouth. Let's see. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't. Does it move towards? When I was very young, I was really fascinated and loved listening to music, as you can see here. All right. Yeah. All right, I do. <laughs> tiny picture, tiny girl. <laughs> and with the age of eight, I have learned to play guitar and sing along with. And the first song I sang was Bruder Jakob, Bruder Jakob, schläfst du noch, schläfst du noch? So at this time I was singing in German. Yes, uh, of course I was eight and I couldn't yes. sing it in English. <laughs> but I realized, oh yeah, my voice sounds kind of nice. And later on, I, um, with the age of 19, I participated at a karaoke competition. And I sang a song from Whitney Houston, The Greatest Love of All. 
And yes, I won this competition. And the next day, a band called me and asked me, hey, Daniel, do you want to become a professional singer? And I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, as a professional commercial singer, you need to sing very long, so as, especially at the balls here in Vienna, the last, like, till, you know, four o'clock in the morning. So eight hours to sing and different kind of styles, not only ballads, but also pop, jazz and rock. And I had a nice voice, but I knew that I had to improve my voice so I could sing longer and also could sing different kind of styles. And that's why I did vocal coaching. And I realized the miracle of voice. Voice is anatomically given, but you can develop your voice. You can improve your voice. And that's what I did. So nowadays I sing at different kind of events like Christians, weddings, company parties, solo and with band. And later on, I was so fascinated about the power of voice that I said, oh, I really want to know more about voice. Not only the singing voice, but also the speaking voice. And I made a professional voice speaking education here in Vienna. And I got to know the five fundamentals of a powerful voice which I want to introduce you today. And later on, I was becoming a moderator, event moderator. I was speaking at different kinds of events, Chamber of Commerce, also T-Mobile, Samsung, Microsoft, and Sony. But my parents always said, Daniel, you have to learn something worthy because singing is a breathless job. And what is speaking? We still don't know it. And of course, so I made a professional uh, university. So I studied international business administration. And uh, I stepped into the world of finance and investment as a sales manager. And I participated speeches there. The most boring speeches <laughs> you can imagine. Slides after slides with facts, figures, graphs, small written letters and very monotone voice like they're always hitting the same note on the piano and they sounded like they had taken 100 drops here. <laughs> I thought, no. Why can't they be like music? Music is fascinating. Music is touching me and goes under the skin. And then a friend of mine told me about Toastmasters. I said, what kind of Toastmasters do they bake bread and toast <laughs> there, <laughs> ham and cheese toast? And in the year 2017, I went to the first Toastmasters club. They use storytelling, they use humor, they connect with the audience. This is the art of speaking I want to learn. This is an art like music. And I have been a Toastmasters member for already, yeah, I think more, yeah, since 2018. And there were some nice competitions as well, which I won, for example, in the year 2020. Uh, when I couldn't sing anymore, because you know, all this uh, time, uh, two years, I wasn't allowed to sing. And in the year 2020, I made the first remote competition at Toastmasters. So we went on Zoom directly in March 2020, and I stepped up with the speech, three ways how you can master any crisis, and even can step up as a winner. And I won. I became best Austrian speaker, and on the district level, so at the European level, I became second. And one way is crisis is an opportunity. And what we can do is go online <coughs> with your wisdom and with your knowledge and with your talent and passion. And that's what I did. And today, I 
show clients, like for example, the Chamber of Commerce, Siemens, as well also on international stages like Women Economic Forum or Percent of Succeed, how they can use the voice, how they can convince and decide with their presentations. So this is the miracle with the journey with the power of voice. This is a workshop today. And I invite you to participate because we singers and also speakers we make some funny exercises, voice exercises. So I invite you to play with me and participate as well as you can so that you get the most out of it, okay? All right. So voice is important for me as a singer, moderator, and speaker. So why is voice important for you as well for speaking at Toastmasters, for presenting at the Vienna International Center? Any guess? Because voice uh, represents 33% of uh, the communication is this formula. Uh, seven creativity, um, body language, voice. So it's important that you convey the message with your voice. Yes, wonderful. Convey emotions, yeah? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Convince, I think. <laughs> you have to convince somebody. <laughs> yeah. You have to convince the whole yes. uh, room of yes. people remember things. You have to negotiate. And if your voice mm -hmm. and the message is not clear. Yes. Yes. And you definitely convince them all. Well, you don't speak like this, like hi, you know? <laughs> you know that, that yeah, in, the, in, the, in the United States and in, in London they speak a lot like this, yeah? But when you have a deeper voice, and we all have a deeper voice, then you convince more, definitely. Thank you. You can say communicate. If you have ideas and projects, you can't make progress on them unless you can share your vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, mm -hmm. yeah? You want to say something? I think the secret of uh, convincing in any speech is the tone of the voice yeah. and how you raise and how you lower yeah. and deeper so you can convince even if it's not true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, he's the guy. He <laughs> might, might lie and what he is convincing. But yeah, we dive into the tone of voice, the yes. color of voice speech a lot today. Thank you very much. So it's not only what we say. At Toastmasters, they always say the what, the, the content is so important. But I think how we say something is even as important as the content. But uh, there are different kinds of voices out there that don't convince. Scratchy voices. Your voice is anatomically given with the learnings, but most what we learn with uh, to, to adopt your voice is from our environment. So when, for example, your mother is speaking very high, don't you learn to speak very high as well? Also, voice is revealing who you are. When you are a shy person, you have a silent voice. And maybe you were told to be silent. And also voice reveals how you feel. So if you're sad, your voice sounds sad. If you're excited, your voice sounds excited. So your voice is really the mirror of your soul. But we all can improve our, our voice, as I said, and we learned today. And do you know what are the elements of a powerful voice? The fundamentals of a powerful voice? Any guess? Clarity? Yes. The airflow? Yes. Melody? Melody? Melody, yeah. Mm -hmm. The speed? Of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Confidence as well. Confidence? Mm -hmm. Volume? Volume? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Variety. Variety. Good. All two. So I want to 
show you step by step the five fundamentals that I learned during my professional speaking education and as well as a singer. So the first one, uh, yeah. <laughs> of a power pronouns. The first one is the body. The body needs to be relaxed. To free the voice is to free the person. And a nice quote from Kristen Linklater. So when you step up on stage and give a presentation and you have an argument with your boss before, and you are very stressed, how would your voice sound like? Cut it? Cut it? Cut it? You eat it. Okay, you can you do it, eat it. Tense, shaky, maybe high. So when you go into a presentation or give a speech here at Toastmasters, be relaxed. Relaxation is anyway the magic word. And how can you be relaxed? Come earlier. Mm -hmm. I, we, I came very early today. <laughs> we had some trouble with the, with the laptop, but yeah, I'm still very calm. And come earlier. Also do everything on a daily basis that gives you energy, that, that you are vibrant. For example, I do a lot of sports. And meditation. What are you doing? Give me an example on a daily basis. Drink coffee. Drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I think not too much. <laughs> All right. Fitness. Fitness. Yes. Go for a walk. Go for Enjoy a walk. Enjoy the nature. To the nature. Yes. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe talk to a friendly uh, colleague or a friend. That's yeah. Who can relax you also? Yes. Wonderful. So do everything on a daily basis that keeps you vibrant, energetic, happy, and calm. And when you go into a presentation, what you can do, I do it actually every day. So do it with me. You can do shoulder circling. Do it with me, please. I invite you to play along with me. Yes. To the back and also shoulder circling. To the front. Mm -hmm. And then you can reach to the stars. Oh, also breathe while you're doing this. So stretch your body. You can do this already when you got up in the morning. Oh. And then you shake out all your nuts. So before you go into the presentation, this is what you can do. Relax your body. Also, you need to have an upright posture. If you have this kind of posture where your shoulders are down, do it with me, please. And then you say, I'm a powerful speaker. Please <laughs> <laughs> say, say it. I'm a powerful speaker. So how does it feel? <laughs> no, so now I'll be like this. Not over ten, not this. But here, like relaxed but upright, and then you say, I am a powerful speaker. Alright? So it feels much better, doesn't it? Have a relaxed body, have an upright posture, and an out you are an outgoing presence. I have something to say. There are some people who say, I have nothing interesting to say. No, never, never say this because you've learned something in your life that we don't have the experience. You have something to say. You have something to give. Have this I tell you something attitude. I know something. I want to show you how I what I experienced in my life. I know I want to show you my wisdom. So this gives you the stage presence. The body is the first fundamental of a powerful voice. Any question about this? 
Tanya actually had a question. So uh, regarding, so we were talking about the body, the physical aspects, but there is also this. Uh, so I I watched a very interesting tech talk tech talk about um, forced posture, and I kind of had saw some elements of that when you were doing these exercises. So I don't know if you have heard of this and whether you experienced this, and if so, what is your opinion on that? What is it? Forced posture, you know, the Superman posture. Oh, so oh, 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 oh. No, no, well, yes, yes. So like oh, Superman's, yes, I was super So it's speaker. kind of before you have some some sort of like, you know, a talk or something, you would just go there. Apparently, it works. Mm -hmm. You would just go there and stand in this like Superwoman, Superman uh, yeah. posture. Yeah. And somehow it also yeah. kind of inspires you as well. So I was wondering what's your. Uh, did, you, what's your did you try that? I did, yes. And? Oh, listen, it's, I think it's uh, it's a, it's a mix between like uh, fake it till you make it plus <laughs> <laughs> and then you see this uh, TED talk, you see five million uh, likes, it's like five million uh, views or whatever, how many thousands of likes, and you're like, okay, actually, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think it's it's good to work with affirmations. Mm -hmm. I once had uh, a client who said, yeah, but I I always think that something is not working out. I said, why don't you say everything is working out? People in the audience, they give me standing ovations. So speak with this positive kind of affirmations, yeah? When I go into a speech, I actually calm down because I'm a very energetic person. And when I do this, oh, I'm a good speaker. So I, this would, would be too energetic for me. But if you are you know, a shy speaker, and very soft, maybe this works. So try this out for you, what is the best for you. I need to calm down before, yeah? But what is it for you? Try it out, maybe it works for you to say, I'm a very good speaker, yeah? Try it out. Okay. It's one of the things you can do up from the speech, definitely. So I think what is very important is also authenticity. So mm -hmm. like, everyone should find a connection with themselves in a way. Of course, you can improve the way of speaking, but you have to be authentic in the chair. Like, because if you exaggerate or whatever, then it doesn't really give mm. the message at all. I was, I was, when I made my first moderation speech, I wasn't authentic. It's good that I, I recorded my speech and I realized I was coming onto the stage, hundreds of people, and I was like, hello everybody, welcome everybody. I said, what am I doing there? This is too energetic. This is, I'm already energetic, and you know, exaggerating my, my energy, this isn't authentic. So I really had to learn to find my authenticity. And yeah, please. Uh, I also have something to share, because I agree with the last comment. Um, one month ago, I had a training to um, present. It was first time for me, and the feedback I got was really surprising. And uh, some people said that I was not confident, I was too quiet. And um, then I talked to the moderator, and she said, boost everything you have. Like, if you think you're loud enough, speak louder. If you think that you are energetic enough, give 20% more. Like, just do a bit of... Um, um, more of what you have, like naturally, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because then um, if you don't try this, uh, it will be, or if you're like just natural, it's not enough. And I actually I agree with her. I also felt that okay, next time I will be just give a little bit of boost of my real mm -hmm. self because you need more energy because you're more silent person. Maybe so. I feel this way. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Try it out. And I mean, the Toastmasters members tell you anyway, oh, you weren't enough, authentic enough, all of this lie. And they will tell you in the written uh, uh, feedback and also the oral feedback how <coughs> they see it. Yeah. I just have one point to add. I guess it also depends on the occasion, whether you really need to magnify everything you say. Right. Yeah, so when, when there is a big stage, you need yes. to, to be more energetic. When there is a little stage, like here, mm -hmm. uh, this might be too too much when you put so much energy. Okay, so this was the first fundamental, yeah, Pow uh, of, of a powerful voice, the body. Let's find out the next one. And this is the breath. Many people breathe in a wrong way. Because when you're stressed, many people do, nowadays are very stressed. And 
then they have this upper chest breathing. Yeah? And then your voice goes up, you are higher with your voice, a higher pitch, and uh, you're trembling, uh, and uh, even you can't finish your sentence with your breath. But what we need to have a powerful voice is more breath. And how can you achieve this? With the chest breathing, but also with the abdominal breathing. This is the full breathing. I want you to stand up and show and get to know your breath. So take some really deep breaths. And now bring your hand on your chest. Your shoulders are down and feel how the chest is rising. Extending. And also put your hand on your belly. It rises like a balloon when you breathe in and out. You can also feel your breath in the flats, the side. So this is the full breathing. And you can also feel the breath in the back. This is the powerful breathing, the full breathing that we need as a speaker. You can sit down, thank you very much. When you have a presentation and you feel, I have sometimes, you know, the feeling that several butterflies are flying like wild in my, my belly. Who else has this kind of feeling? I am really shaking, yeah? But here, you need to calm down your breath. And what you can do is really to have this deep breathing. So when you sit down and you have, you know, okay, now it's your turn to, to have, give a presentation, you like this. Nobody will see it, but you will feel it. Calm down your breath. Because a relaxed voice needs a relaxed, full breathing. And when you want to speak loudly, then your most important breathing muscle that supports your voice is the diaphragm. Yeah? So when you want to strengthen your diaphragm, there are different kinds of exercises, mm -hmm. like this one. Shh, shh. So if you want to speak loud, then the support comes from the belly, from your diaphragm, not from your throat. So the breath is very important. It's a very important fundamental pillar of a strong voice. Okay. Then we have the resonance. It's the third fundamental pillar. What the heck is resonance? Resonance is vibration. Your whole body vibrates when you're speaking. And you can feel it, that vibration. How can you feel it? By humming. So I want to imagine a baguette. Mmm, big baguette. Now you say, mmm, do it with a mmm. Do 
a lot of humming, different mum, then wind the resonance. When you have a resonant voice, you fill the room with your voice. You have a rich and strong voice. And what I want to experience you as well is your feel-good voice, your comfort tone. This is the voice where you speak at a lower pitch level. Me as a soprano, I can sing very high, but I don't want to speak like this. My uh, teacher at the professional education uh, was with me said, oh, you know, you speak too high. So I had to find my natural voice, the, low, the lowest voice, which is still very relaxed. And everybody has this kind of voice. And I want to experience you this, this voice, because this is, should, should be the voice where you speak the most of the time, because here you can speak very long, and you sound confident, you sound, uh, you have this um, authority that we need, especially here. In, uh, when we give a presentation to Vienna International Center. So you don't want to speak like this. Yeah, we, have, we want to have a, a deeper voice. So how can you find this comfort tone? Imagine you're talking to a friend on the phone, and the, the friend is talking, 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 and the only thing you can say is, mm -hmm, very relaxed, mm -hmm, yeah. Do it with me, in your tone. It's a very relaxed tone. Yeah. 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 And once you have it, you hum. You should feel very relaxed. Huh? So I want you to find your comfort tone. The deepest, relaxed tone you can have. And before you go into a presentation, you hum. Start with this kind of pitch. Always remind yourself that you have this kind of pitch inside, this comfort tone. Mm -hmm. Body, breath, resonance. The next one is the articulation. Okay. Articulation means you speak clearly. People understand you. Sometimes people, they have don't have a good articulation, then the audience says, oh, I don't understand you, I don't hear you, because they don't use their articulation tools properly. And the articulation tools, which I introduce you now, what do they need to be? Relax. Okay? So for example, one articulation tool is your jaw. Huh? There are some people who have a tight jaw, and then the sound of your voice can't come through. Yeah? Uh, you have to open your jaw, jaw so that the sound of your voice comes through. And one exercise you can do to relax your jaw is yawning. Or and, and another exercise is called the idiot. <laughs> Good with me. Be very relaxed. All right. So this is what keeps your jaw relaxed. Mm -hmm. So open your jaw. Then we have the lips. The lips are the formers of the vocals. For example, you say, you can say mun, or you can say moon, so your lips are rounded. And there is a nice uh, exercise, what I do a lot when I do the exercise for singing, and it's the lip drills. To do it with me, you can support the lip drills a little bit with uh, putting your fingers here, very loose. Yeah. Yeah, so this is what I do a lot when I'm singing. So I make, for example, so I go very high. And yeah, this is very good to. Relax your lips, please. And why do you, we need the fingers? 
Yeah. You can do it without. As long as <laughs> but sometimes it's very hard. Uh, you
Let's take a simple sentence. I go to school. You can say, I go to school. Or, I go to school. So I go after. Or, I go to school. Yeah, it's a different kind of meaning because you give the importance to different kind of words. But then you go up. I go to school. I go to school. No, I go to school. Or I go to school. I go to school. No, I go to school. Yeah. So this is a different kind of meaning when you go up with the words. So if you want to emphasize a certain words, go up with the words. Tempo. Who is a fast, rapid speaker? Rapid. Who speaks fast? Not so many. Really? Okay. Who speaks not that fast? <laughs> All right. <laughs> there are some strike in here. Okay. Alterate the tempo. Yeah. Alterate. When you want to speak, uh, you speak fast. What is uh, the good thing to speak fast? When you have lots of matters to talk. <laughs> <laughs> when you're commenting when the football. It's important. Slow down. Okay. <laughs> When it's time, uh, almost the time. <laughs> okay? Anything else? When there's something exciting, you want to... Yes! When you want to excite, you want to up. Yeah, have a, a, a greater tempo, yeah? So this is very important. You can want, good morning, everybody. It's very nice that you are here. So, good morning, everybody. It's very nice that you're here, all here. So this is gives more excitement. Great. And then we have the sound of silence. Why is the pause so important? It's very powerful. Because when you talk and then suddenly you lose lots of features of the pronunciation. You're quiet and everybody looks at you there. What's wrong with her? And then you start again. You know? So it's very powerful. So literally we just make interested in the next, uh, next sentence that we are saying. So we pause and then is it mm. good? You let the information sink into the brain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It gives you all the time to relax. Mm -hmm. And especially when you are a fast speaker, you need more pauses. Mm -hmm. I have many clients, they say, I speak too fast. Actually, they, don't, they do not speak fast, but they do not make pauses. Mm -hmm. the, the faster you speak, the more pauses you need. Because when you speak slowly, you don't need more pauses. Because people are getting you anyway. But it's very important that you change, that you alter it always between all these elements. And then we have the tone of the voice. <coughs> the whole harmony, the whole elements fall here into the tone. This is the color of the voice. With the tone, you convey emotions. And now I want you to play with, with you how you can speak like this. You can, for example, make a sound that is very sunny and light and bright as the sun and like a sunny song like for example I'm walking on sunshine yeah yeah so it's very uplifting it's a, high, it's a bigger tempo it's also in a higher pitch yeah but this is very exciting it's when you want to motivate people then you speak the sunny color then we have the green color so it's very soft it's very warm, like a ballad. The green, green grass is home. So if you want to sound empathetic, friendly, you use this kind of color. Yeah, you speak more slowly and with a softer voice. And there is another voice sound. It's a gray color. The gray color is when you sound more exterior. Once upon a time, or when you want to reflect on something, it's like a song. Hello, darkness, my friend. I'm coming to talk to you again. So it's very soft, shy, shy mysterious. It gives you this another kind of feeling. Yeah? Then we have a very clear voice, the blue voice. It's very straightforward. So if you want to present uh, objective and facts and figures, this is the right voice. It's a competent voice, 
do not make so much modulation and with the mid tempo it's uh, not too much modulation yeah so this is a clear rule we want to be objective present facts and figures this is the clear rule and then we have the fiery red voice like over winter is using a lot of fiery voice yeah it's powerful as fire it's very strong it's very dominant like hey i will survive so it's very strong and if you uh, uh, listen to a speech of Oprah Winfrey, she's using a, a lot this kind of voice. Yeah, it's so powerful and very strong. So a different kind of tones what you can do. I hope you see this all. So take out your phone now and scan this QR code and you will enter some song lyrics. And what I want you to do now is to use the color of your voice. You will experience when you use different kind of colors that you convey different kind of emotions. Yeah. It's not working. Yeah? Yeah. It's not working. Yeah. It's not working. Yeah. 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 It does work. It works. It yeah. did work. Let's try it again. Does it work for you? No? Try it again? Does it work? When I try it the day. Strange. But you can Google, for, for example, let's Google the song Imagine. If you are on the right but if you go on 2 or 5G, it will work. So yeah. just really just remove the Wi-Fi because it's very soft on fireballs. So the first lyrics is imagined. Yeah. And you can yeah. you can uh, sound in different kind of ways. Yeah. yeah, for example, you can sound very hysterical, the gray voice. Imagine all of the people. Or you can sound very uplifting, like the sunny voice. Imagine all the people. Or oh, very fiery red voice. Imagine all the people. So who wants to try to speak like music? Yes! Yeah! Give an example. Which kind of song which kind of song lyrics do you want to to sound clear? Yeah? Ah, oh, okay. There are different kinds. <laughs> That's not it. Um, so I removed the Wi-Fi and now it asks me to download something. Yes, it's a video. This is the security of the Vienna International Center. It's basically <laughs> IAEA. Agency. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the rest is yeah. working. Yeah. So what you can do, what you, what's your name? Julia. 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 Yeah. yeah? You, can, you can speak always in the same tone of voice. Mm -hmm. Choose one you like. Or you can alter it during no, during the, 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 the no, lyrics. So, for example, no, one phrase you're talking in a certain kind of tone, and then you change to another tone. So I take first song, or I choose the song. You choose any song you like. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. How about how it to help? How would it help? Okay. You don't say which kind of tone you're using. You just feel. All right. Julia. So you mean like green, uh, gray? Yes, yellow. you choose, yeah. Okay, so and then I just feel. Mm -hmm. You can stay the whole time in a one in one tone if you want to, but you can change. So when you make some sentences in, for example, fiery mm -hmm. voice, mm -hmm. and then you change to green, blue, red. Love and easy, love and free, season ticket on a one-way ride, asking nothing, read me be, talking everything uh, in my stride. Don't, don't need reason, don't lie, need nothing that I'd rather do, calm down, positive, my friends are gonna be there soon. Also feel into the words, see the words, yes. yeah? Because music has powerful language, it has visual language, feel into it. Maybe I should have chosen different songs. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can try the fiery voice. Go for it. 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 Go for it.
softly creeping, left its seeds while I was sleeping, and the vision that was planted in my brain still remains with the sounds of silence. In restless dreams, I walked alone, narrow streets of cobblestone, neath the halo of a street lamp, I turned the collar to the cold damp. When my eyes were stabbed, the flash of a neon light that split the night, and touched the sound of silence. Okay, great. What was this kind of uh, tone choice? Just, yeah, yeah. 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 Do you want to yeah. try another? Should I? Yeah, of course. Let's see. Which one should I do? And in the naked eye, I saw 10,000 people, maybe more, people talking without speaking, people hearing without listening, people writing songs that voices never shared yeah. and no one dared, disturbed the sound of silence. Is yellow it the sunny voice? Yes. Yeah. Maybe you smile a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, do it again. Yeah. yeah. And then the naked light, I saw 10,000 people, maybe more, people talking without speaking, people talking without listening, people writing songs that voices never shared, and no one dared. Disturb the sound of silence. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So any of the songs, right? Doesn't matter. Um, at first I was afraid, I was petrified. <coughs> I kept thinking I could never live, live without you by my side. Um, but then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong. Mm. And I grew strong. <laughs> and I learned how to get along. Wow. Wow. So she started very powerful with a fiery red voice and then turned into a more calm, green voice. Very nice. Okay. There was a bit of grey in there too. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Who else wants to try? Come on. Something. This is your show. <laughs> Lily, what about you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm using my phone for filming, so I had to take that one the Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us, above us, on the sky. Imagine all the people living for today. <laughs> Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. No religion, too. Imagine all the people living life in peace. You may say I'm a dreamer. I am not the only one. I hope somebody will join us. And the world will be as one. Yeah. Yeah. Who else wants to try? Who else wants to create emotions and speak like music? Can I ask you, is what color was that? <laughs> What color did you choose? I didn't, I just... Yeah, but 
That's why I'm asking. Okay. <laughs> so how's that? Sound? You set the intention. Yeah. Okay. Emotion. Now, no, you set the intention. I want to speak now fiery. It was, uh, for me, it was kind of fire. I don't, fiery. Yeah. Like, uh, you thought, uh, like, gray, like inviting to think, and then emotion fire. Yeah. So kind of At the end, yes. yes. So when you speak gray, you speak, uh, how, how, which kind of song was it? These, uh, imagine. imagine. So at the beginning, so the great to bring in. All the people. It's easy if you try. It's calm, it's very, it's great. Or you say powerful, fiery was imagine all the people. It's easy if you try. This is a fiery word. Yeah? Maybe you want to try it again, but set your intention. Yeah? You want to try it again? I mean, that, that's what I thought at the beginning. I put, to put the gray yeah, and I then move that. to the fire. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's okay. what I tried, but I don't know. We can do it if we try. You said that we yeah. can fire, yeah. yeah. You can but speak. I didn't set the intention. I used close. You so can speak, speak more mysterious. It's very soft, mysterious one. Do you want to try again with the imagine? Yeah. I mean, if nobody yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> set, set the intention. Which kind of tone of voice do you want to use? Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us, above us, on the sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. And no religion, too. Imagine all the people living life in peace. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope somebody will join us and the world will be as one. Wow. wow. So you, you, you see or you hear when you use different kinds of tones and different sound of voices, then you convey different kinds of emotion. And this is what you can do as a speaker. You can sound fascinating like music. And Set the intention the next time when you go into a speech, I want to use my most beautiful voice. And you know, there are a lot of exercises out there you can do to improve the sound of your voice on a daily basis. When you do it on a daily basis, your voice improves a lot. You speak confidently, you speak clearly. <coughs> And then, when you use the your <coughs> voice and you make your voice modulation sound like music, then it fascinates. People listen. This is what I want you to experience. The sound of your voice. So that everybody is listening to you and is remembering you and your speech. And if you want to... So this was a you know, somehow a glance of the power of voice. If you want to learn more about the power of voices, if you want to dive into more, please feel free to connect with me under info at dynabauer.com. And we see where you are with your voice and how you can step up with your voice and your speech. And if it, do we have time we have, uh, uh, yeah. for some questions? Yes. I'm here right now, so you're here. Well, thank you for your talk. It was very interesting. Um, one thing you said, there's lots of ways to train your voice. And yeah. one way that you yourself embarked on a journey is through singing. Yeah. And so I would make a, a plaidoyer or an argument. If you want to train your voice, is join a choir. And sing. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a very yeah. good way to exercise your voice. And yeah. if you become serious about singing, you usually do many of the exercises we started out on a weekly basis in your choir. And sometimes they will send you to voice lessons. Yeah. And are you are a choir singer? I am yeah. a choir singer, and this is why I'm propagating, please join a choir. Yeah. <laughs> because not only it's good for your voice, all studies show singing people are happier. There's mm, something true. that frees yeah. you. And more intelligent. I can admit, I can admit. Yeah. 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 You know, and 
singing is the marathon. So this is even higher than speaking because you need to have a very strong voice. You, you, you work a lot with your voice. You do a lot of vocal exercises that you have a strong voice that you can sing in different kind of pitches and for a long time. So if you can sing, you also can speak very good. Yeah? All right, thank you very much. Yeah, hi, my name is Petra. I'm already with Toastmasters for some years and I'm very happy that Tanya is also showing to you such an important topic. What I can also recommend to you, if you prepare your speeches for the regular meetings, you can also put some singing elements into your speech. It's always fun and it's really impressive for the, for the audience when I used some lyrics to sing and they were like, whoa, yeah. you're so brave, you're singing for your speech. Yeah? And so it's a great opportunity to try out here in this atmosphere everything what you like to try out. Yeah? So you can dance, you can jump, you can sing, <laughs> you can have some lyrics, uh, not lyrics, uh, poet, poetry, poetry, yeah? yeah. so you can try out everything. And depending on your pathway, so your development plan, you can have more humor speeches or more uh, presentation topics, you know. So really, I can recommend to you all to join this wonderful club and practice your voice with Dania's uh, recommendations. Yes. And I have also something yeah. to add to what you said. And do as if nobody is watching you. Mm. <laughs> That's true. Yes, yes. experiment practice. yourself, you know. Mm. This is the room, uh, Toastmaster Club is such a friendly environment. Yes. Yeah, and you can, ex voice is also a journey into yourself, in a journey into your personality. So try out, yeah, and with voice you can convince and fascinate so much your audience. Mm. Really, especially in online. Yeah, when you give an online presentation, mm, the true. voice and the body language is the only, yeah. the only senses. So we need a vocal variety in our voice, in a, a nice voice to listen to. I have mm -hmm. one question yeah. about yeah. that. Thank mm -hmm. you. It was a great presentation. Thank you. There's a quick question regarding an accent. You know, for example, I, if I'm in Polish, I'm from Poland, I do not speak apparently even with proper accent in Polish. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own whole accent in every language and I just accepted it. But the thing is, uh, do you think it is important, the, the accent of the language you're speaking in, that it's the right one? Um, I think it's good because it shows your, where you come from, it's, it's your authenticity. I mean, otherwise everybody is uh, sounding the same. And of course, as someone who's Polish, you sound a little, you have a Polish ex, uh, accent. When I speak in, in, in uh, the United States or in the United Kingdom, definitely know, okay, I'm an Austrian or German speaker. But they love it, yeah? They're, they're, they love some, ex, uh, some accents here, yeah? This is our authenticity. It shows where you are from and, and if you sound like everybody, like the mm -hmm. English uh, speakers, English, 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 and everybody sounds uh, the same, it's boring, isn't it? So what, what do you think about mm -hmm. the accent? Diversity, yeah. beauty. It's yeah. a beauty. It's a beauty. Yeah, it's a beauty. Yeah. 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 And sometimes I feel like it's almost like when you don't think too much about it, then actually no one can really, they, they don't really mm -hmm. spot it. But if you're very conscious about it, then then it's even it's like it's amplifying it even more. Yes. Yeah. You have this accent, but it's very important that you are understandable. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And you you speak enough at the beginning to get people used to your accent, instead of rushing right into the important stuff. You have to give them a, a prelude mm -hmm. to get used to your accent and your in an mm -hmm. intonation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for this question. Any any other question to my class, please? Yeah. Well, thank Dana, thank you so much for your presentation, and I really enjoyed the activities that helped to illustrate each of the the five pillars. Yes. I'm curious, are those common knowledge? Did you help to identify each of those five areas? Um, you know, talking through breath and resonance. I mean, those seem associated with singing, but when did you really? solidify that to say these five things are not only important for singing but in speaking. Mm. So I learned a lot about 
this, these uh, elements in, uh, during my professional speaker education. Mm -hmm. So we did a lot of breathing exercises, we did a lot of articulation exercises, so we had uh, tons of uh, lyrics where, or uh, texts where we had to speak very properly. And so I, I realized, okay, articulation is one of the fundamentals. And uh, so breath, uh, then also we, we learned to speak different kind of text, like the boring news, for example, or the fast, exciting uh, commercials. So different kind of text in the so okay, uh, the tone of voice is also very important. And so I, I realized a lot and, and learned a lot during my professional speaking education. And then I was uh, extracting these five fundamentals, what I showed you today. Thank you. I have a question. Yeah? Please. When talking, you start in talking, should I breathe in and it goes in before that? And then it will be yeah. Because at some point, but but then I do not breathe in the middle, and then it doesn't, doesn't come out yeah. anymore. So when, how, how do I do this between the sentences? Yeah, paragraph. All right. So when you enter the stage, you do not start very immediately. You you take your time and breathe out first, and then quick breathing, and then you talk because. Speaking is breathing out. Yeah, but you do not want to make and then speak, but it's better you start with then you open your mouth, which actually is immediately breathing in, and then you speak. Yeah. And um, during this speech, just take your time, make pauses, and then and then you speak. It's actually uh, speaking is breathing out, yeah? and you need to have this proper breathing, this full breath that you support your voice. Wait, I sing as you learn something. I don't even know what the English word is. Schnapp. Yeah. <laughs> but can you use that in speaking also? Because you do it in the singing when you run out of breath. It's a it's a way of. That's like the reflectionary uh, breathing. So when you make, and then you talk, yeah. And actually, you don't need so much air. Like this is too much. But when you make like this, and you speak, then it's good enough. And you know, uh, when I finish a sentence, I make, for example, I open the mouth, and the the air is coming in. Automatically, you just need to open your mouth. <coughs> so this is what actually we learned uh, during my professional speaking education. To 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 open the mouth. So I speak, for example, a sentence. Then I make this. So I make a pause and then make this, and then automatically it's very easy. The the, the new air is coming in very automatically, and it's enough air for speaking. You don't you do not need to make this. Too much. It's stress for your body, for your body anyway. So it's what what you say, schnapp mm -hmm. It's the reflectionary breathing. Yeah, it's very easy. Just open them up, and air is coming in. Not air is coming in to speak with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, are there tools that you can, breathing. you can assess your own use of voice, like to to know whether you are improving, like how do you tell? that you are actually doing it better than before. Can, can, can you... Uh, How do you monitor the progress? Like if I'm working on it, you know, I try to use it better, but how do I then know I'm actually doing it better? Are there... Yeah, actually feel it. Yeah? So, of course, you have to work on your voice and you make many voice exercises and you feel it. When you speak, when you do vocal exercises, you feel it right. And yeah, it's just the, you, you feel the improvement. <laughs>
But I've told Sparkers we have recordings, so you, you listen to the recordings. But some of them are more like self. Um, yeah, but you will, yeah. Listen, you will hear it. Yeah. Okay. When I, for example, I was told that I speak too, too high because I was in drama. And then I was doing a lot of this mm, finding my comfort zone. And mm, so when I do this on a daily basis, then my voice improves anyway. And, and I, I can speak uh, more confident in a lower pitch. And you feel it was probably Virginia that she has a question because <laughs> Please, I, had a, I had a totally different question. I yeah. had a meeting. So, what is your suggestion? We talked about uh, breathing, we talked about talking. I have a question on moving. So, when you're on the stage and you are talking and you are concentrated in the in the tone of your face, and uh, do we move on the stage? What is advised? Is it is there any uh, let's mm -hmm. say comment on movement, movement around the stage? Is actually, the orchestra, which goes along with your with, with your voice, yeah. So if you don't do not have any movement, yeah, so no gestures and so on, then uh, your voice may sound more boring in comparison when you have more movement. Mm -hmm. So when I make this, my my voice is more exciting. It's more energetic. Yeah. So it's recommended. But if you want to, for example, uh, speak clearly, confident, you don't do so much movements. Okay, this is straight forward. Yeah. So these are the facts and the figures. Yeah. So these are the facts and the figures. This is too much excitement. Move your body language because it 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 is, mm -hmm. it emphasizes your words, mm -hmm. and also it uh, goes along with your voice because when you move a lot then you have more a more exciting voice yeah if you want to have a more exciting sunny voice for example then you have bigger move depending on the occasion I mean. yes yeah but uh, yeah thank you it's very great well. presentation so, by the way. thank you very much so before everybody goes please can okay. i uh, make sure. a <laughs> selfie <Sorry. with> you <laughs> would it be great so we turn around